Hi, boys and girls. Today we are going to start um, with prime and composite numbers again, like yesterday. So let's get started. On your whiteboard right now, let's just start with a review question from Powers of 10. Mrs. Andrews bought 1,230 pieces of candy for Halloween. Mrs. Gibson bought 10 times more candy. How much candy did Mrs. Gibson buy for Halloween? Write an equation to show your thinking. Go ahead, so there's two parts to this question. One, you need to simply find out how much candy did Mrs. Gibson buy, but I also need to see an equation of how you solved it. Go ahead, pause your video, and then check back with me. <clears throat> All right, so hopefully when you solved this, you were thinking about, we have 1,000, 230 pieces of candy, and Mrs. Gibson has 10 times more. My variable, the, the um, letter we're solving for, or the value we're trying to find, is C for candy. So if I have 10 times more, this is my equation. This is what I'm solving for. Because it's patterns of 10, what we could do is we could simply draw a place value chart with our equation, and because we're moving it 10 times, 10 times more, that means we're moving it one place value to the left. So I'm going to move every digit one place value to the left. And that gives me an answer of 12,300 pieces of candy. So I would have C equals 12,300 pieces of candy. And I could say something like Mrs. Gibson has so that's 10 times more. It's moving all of my digits one place value over. Awesome, nice job with the review. Let's um, continue reviewing about prime numbers. <clears throat> what I like to do when I'm doing a prime number is I like to kind of give myself, like it's a one and me. Prime is one and me, meaning the number that it is and one are the only factors that can go into it. <clears throat> I want to quickly talk about the number one in general. The number one is kind of weird. It's not prime and it's not composite. It's a little tricky of a number. So the number one is neither, okay? Let's watch a quick video all about prime numbers. Hopefully this helps you to remember. I know you guys like it. We're going to stop. We don't need to go all the way to 100. But hopefully you noticed that the prime numbers um, only have two factors, one and me. A common misconception is people think that this just means it's an odd number. And that's not the case. Um, so I don't want you to think that, oh, if it's an odd number, it's prime. That is not true. For example, 33. 33 is an odd number, but it's actually composite. Um, we can multiply by 1 and 33 or 3 and 11. So just because it's odd does not mean it's a prime number. Again, composite means it has more than two factors. Okay, so let's go ahead and start 
what I want you to do is I want you to try this one on your own. And I want you to email me your answer. So either take a screenshot of this and just attach it to an email. But I want you to do that multiplication sentence, your factors, and then tell me, is it prime or is it composite? So go ahead right now, solve this one, pause your video, and email it to me. Then come back and we'll continue our video. Awesome, thanks for sending that email. Here we go. We're going to identify if the number 16 um, is prime or composite. So we talked about yesterday, I like to skip counts when I'm trying to identify if the number is prime or composite. Because let's face it, we may not know all of our math facts. If you do, then this is probably a little easier for you. So obviously we know that any number if we multiply it by one, it's going to give us itself, right? One and me equals 16. But now I'm gonna to go to the next number, which is two, and I'm gonna to try to skip count by twos to see if I can get to 16. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So if I skip count by twos, eight times equals 16. Now I'm gonna go by threes, three, Six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. 12, 15, 18, mm, didn't work. I'm going to go by fours. Four, eight, 12, 16, four works. And the last one I try is five. Five, 10, 15, 20, mm, five didn't work. So my sentences, uh, my multiplication sentences are right here. It's got all of the factors. Then I can go through and I can list my factors. Um, and I kind of do like a rainbow. So I have one times 16, two times eight, and four times four. Notice I only listed four one time because um, we, it repeats itself. We didn't really need to say it twice. So because this has more than two factors, we know that this is composite. Oops, composite, right? All right, um, I'm gonna erase this so I don't get my answers out in the next class, but here's my answer. <laughs> Let's go ahead and I want you to try seven. So pause your video, try it with seven, and then check back with me to double check your work. I could only come up with two factors, one and me, Therefore, I knew this was prime. We're going to do a quick exit ticket on Schoology to show that you are able to identify prime and composite numbers. And then when you're done, let your homeroom teacher know so we can play Kahoot. Again, with just practicing those prime and composite numbers. So first, you're going to do your exit ticket, and then we'll play Kahoot. If you're virtual, make sure you're back in your homeroom teachers. Um, I think the time we said was 11.25, we'll do the exit ticket. So once the exit ticket's done, we'll play Kahoot. All right, guys, thanks for working hard, all about prime and composite.